Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palneepan Manikam. In this video, we're going to talk about how actually your phone can cause increased belly fat and actually cause heart attack. Hear me out until the end. I'm going to give you a tiny little lifestyle change that you can do. This will cause a big impact in your life. If not, it will have a big impact in your life. In the previous video, we talked about how you can use the sun to decrease your belly fat. In this video, we are going to see how you can use your sleep to decrease belly fat. Basically, I'm a very stingy person. I don't spend money to buy these expensive supplements for weight loss and everything. I use naturally available sun, moon, sleep, water to lose belly fat. My mom used to tell me, if you keep eating and sleeping, kumbha karne madri toppi dondi ma vara poradan. I am going to tell you that if you sleep like kumbha karne, you can actually reduce your belly fat. But please don't tell my mom. On an average, an adult should sleep around 7 hours of sleep. When I say 7 hours, it should be 7 good continuous hours. Any disturbance during the sleep will affect the quality of your sleep. It could be your kids, it could be your wife, or it could be your one good friend who calls you in the middle of the night. My friend Saravna Kumar calls me and says, Ni verum pala ila shivnarain chandra pala. After his call, I'll be like shivnarain chandra pal, alert and awake all night long. So in this video, we are going to see if you don't get 7 hours of continuous good quality sleep, you will get 7 inches of belly fat. Let's see how. Combining sleep and belly fat is a hormone called cortisol. Sleep decreases the cortisol hormone. It is an extremely important hormone. It's called a fight or a flight hormone. It gives you so much energy that whenever there is a stressor, it either fights with the stressor or makes you run away from the stressor. Basically, when cortisol is secreted, it gives you all the energy to fight the stressor like doing a karate. If it cannot handle it, it will give you energy to do man karate so that you can run away from it like a deer. So if you disturb cortisol and make it secrete unnecessarily, your body will not know what to do with this all this energy. When there is no stressor to fight or flight, all this energy will convert into belly fat, thinking that you will need this energy in future. I'm pretty sure cortisol has Indian genes because it always saves energy for your future but does not spend anything at the present moment. So the lower your cortisol, lower your belly fat. The simplest way not to disturb cortisol to be secreted unnecessarily is to follow its circadian rhythm, follow its sleep-wake cycle. When it is sleeping, you don't wake it up. Cortisol wakes up when you wake up, gives you all this energy and sleeps in the evening and dies down by midnight. If you wake up cortisol after it sleeps, it will say, Thungi kitruka singa ta tatti elipirada. Apro singo, a singa mairo. Cortisol is like your phone. It wakes up fully charged in the morning, keeps you notified with this WhatsApp Medical University, Facebook Medical School and dies down at midnight. My friend Saravna Kumar sends me a WhatsApp message at midnight saying that Corona vai rasathal kolvadi eppadi eppadiintu. Enda one vesathal kolvadi eppadi potrukkanum dan. So if you don't disturb cortisol, it will not disturb you. Cortisol is like my in-laws family. If I don't disturb them, they don't disturb me. But if I disturb them unnecessarily, they will feed me so much that instead of my wife, I will come out as six months pregnant. So if your waist circumference is more than 80 centimeters in women and more than 90 centimeters in men, it is absolutely important that you follow the circadian rhythm of cortisol. You go to bed early with cortisol and you wake up early with cortisol. Cortisol is not your cousins who come home for a vacation so you can chit chat all night long. Cortisol is like your baby. You need to nurture it slowly and if it wakes up, you need to sing lullaby to make it sleep again. If not, it will sing lullaby to you. The number one reason that people are not getting good quality sleep these days is scrolling down your phone just before you go to sleep and I will tell you why. To have a good quality sleep, you need a hormone called melatonin. The more the melatonin, the better you sleep. Melatonin is secreted when you are surrounded in dark environment. The more darker it is, the more the number of melatonin, the better the sleep you get. Now you know why our favorite part of the max class is when the teacher asks to switch off the lights for his PowerPoint presentation. I'll be like, yes, good night, sir. Our ancestors slept at sunset and woke up at sunrise because they didn't have any lights. So they have tons of melatonin in their body. So sleeping was not a problem at all. When we started using artificial light after sunset, all these electronic devices, LED lights, starts to emit something called blue light. And this blue wavelength decreases the melatonin hormone, decreases the sleep quality, increases the cortisol and hence the problem. Any device that we use emits lights with different colors at different wavelengths like blue, yellow, red, like manja color, chinga cha, chaupu color, chinga cha. But the most dangerous light is the blue light after sunset because it decreases the melatonin level the most. 
and the most important problem is the number one source for blue light is all the phones that we have right in our hand my friend Saravana Kumar is like, hey pal, what are you talking about? I don't see anything blue that is coming out of my phone. Even my wallpaper is white and my ringtone is very happy and not blues. Though this is called blue light, it will not look like blue. It will just look like this white light that is emitting from the phone. It is just that it has a blue wavelength decreasing the melatonin. After sunset, the blue light is so prominent that your phone will say, now ujala kumari time. Blue light is not a bad light, it is actually a good light. Sunlight has so much blue light. The concept of blue light is to make you alert and be awake. That is what you need during the day and you don't need that during the night. Even Talewa Rajinikanth would have said in one movie that Suryanikku Munnadi Yelundiru Suryanai Jaipoy. Unfortunately, Talewa Rajinikanth did not contest in the election. If he would have, maybe he might have won the sun. I guarantee you that most of us, including me, definitely look at our phone before going to bed. This is particularly bad when you are having a fight with your friend in a WhatsApp group about your actor's flopped movie, especially before going to bed. The fight gets intense and you are waiting for your friend to reply something and all you see is the friend is typing. And the more you wait for his typing, the more the melatonin is typing its resignation letter to leave your body. So what happens now? You keep staring at the iPhone for his reply. The blue light goes into your retina, decreases the melatonin, increases the cortisol levels and you are waking up the cortisol causing you a problem. After waking up, cortisol will be like, hey, Sunday ki vangada, Sunday ki vangada, nobody will be there. It stores all the energy into belly fat. All this started with that stupid message in the WhatsApp group. Now you can officially change the name of the group into Toppeyum Dondiyum. One of the other reasons that our ancestors slept so well was because they received notification through a pigeon's letter. Now we receive notification from WhatsApp, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram and even your kid. Our ancestors getting exposed to blue light was once in the blue moon and now even in no moon day we are exposed to blue light. So the more you scroll your phone before the bed, the blue light goes into your retina, decreases the melatonin, decreases the quality of sleep, increases the cortisol, increases the belly fat, increases your cholesterol levels in your heart, causes heart attack and that's why phone can cause heart attack. Yappa, ippave kanna kattude, adhaan solrein thoong irungant. So there are three categories of patients in which this concept is absolutely important. Number one, people who cannot fall asleep at all. Number two, people can fall asleep but they cannot maintain the sleep. Number three, now you might be having a good sleep but you keep exposing yourself to the blue light, the melatonin receptors go down and eventually you will fall into the first or the second category. So now we can discuss what you can do to avoid this from happening. So number one, you need to stay away from your phone two hours before going to bed. Two hours is so too long. Okay, one hour, one hour, okay, at least half an hour. Number two is you can follow the sleep-wake cycle of cortisol. Cortisol sleeps around 10 or 11 p.m. You can also sleep along the same time period and wake up along with cortisol in the morning and follow this daily on a routine basis. For example, if you decide to sleep around 10 p.m., you create an alarm or a reminder in your phone to keep the phone away half an hour before at 9.30 p.m. Remember, the more you scroll, it increases your cholesterol, the heart takes a heavy toll. The third thing that you can do is to actually apply blue filters to your phone and I will show you how. I have an iPhone, I'm going to show you how I do it in iPhone. You could also do it in Android and any other platform as well. So in your iPhone, go to settings and type in color filter and choose color filters and in that option, turn it on. Once you turn it on, it gives multiple options like grayscale, red green filter. What you need is color tint. If you click this, it becomes so warm that actually it is red in color. The more red it is, the better it is because it decreases the melatonin the least. The more warmer it is, the better for you for your sleep. But if you're working a night shift, unfortunately, we cannot do much. We need to find an alternative solution. One good solution is to get a blue light filter glasses. It is worth your investment. Please research on that. It is going to help you a lot down the road. My friend Saravana Kuma proudly told me that after wearing the blue light filter glass, all the movies are coming closer. When you look closer, it is actually the 3D glass that he stole from My Dear Kutti Chatan 3D movie 20 years ago. I can guarantee you that whichever category of patients that you belong to, this method is going to definitely promote the quality of your sleep, decrease the cortisol level, decrease the belly fat. With this method combined with the time restricted feeding, I can guarantee you that your belly fat is going to come down. 
I was explaining this to my friend Saravana Kumar. I said, they play to your strength, play along with your circadian rhythm. You will have beautiful benefits. He was like, they please share that playlist with me. I was like, what are you talking about? The circadian rhythm playlist. Tra? AR Raman songs are Kumar. So in summary, I want you to be like Chinna Thambi Gaundamani. If people don't know who that is, I'm going to put a link for the movie link. He's a Tamil comedian in a role that he has played in a movie called Chinna Thambi. He will not be able to see anything after 6 p.m. I want you to be like that. You cannot see anything. So if you cannot see anything, you will not eat anything as well. If you are forced to participate in any functions or get together, wear your blue light filter glass and say, Super Abu! I'm very curious to know from you guys, when do you go to bed and when is the last time that you actually look at your phone? I want to know the time difference. For example, you go to bed at 10 p.m. and you look at your phone at 9.55, then the time difference is 5 minutes. Write down in the comment section when you go to bed and what is the time difference. Again, try to follow the circadian rhythm of cortisol. Go to bed around 10 p.m. Wake up in the morning when cortisol wakes up. If you keep allowing your cortisol to secrete unnecessarily, your soul will rest in peace and you are solely responsible for that. Stay safe, get vaccinated, don't eat anything after 7 p.m. One belly at a time, it is absolutely important. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.